In politics, there are no permanent enemies, nor friends, but interests which drive actions of politicians. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party in the 2023 elections, Peter Obi, has visited Nobel laureate Professor Wale Shoinka at his residence. Obi, in a post on his official Twitter handle, described his visits to Professor Shoinka as enriching, nothing, noting that he had a useful discussion with the Nobel laureate. He said the visit is intended to address the disagreement between the great icon and obedient family, as well as honor him for the huge price he paid for Igbo people during the Civil War. Professor Shoinka was like, has been like a whipping dog in the hands of, you know, um, I, don't want to, I don't know how to um, describe them at best, but every other person in the last two, three months, when you just see anybody does come out, they've been abusing the prof, they have been disrespecting him. They won't compare him to Chimamanda. A lot of things say that he was Professor Shoinka collected Wotowoto from the children of anger. So, well, Peter Obi has gone to Wale Shoenka now because I still see a semblance of sanity in the, um, Mr. Peter Obi. Oh, Peter Obi a gentleman. Uh, is a gentleman to the core and is sensible because mm. Shoenka's sympathy was for labor. It is clear. Is for Shoenka's sympathy was for Labour Party. And Shoenka was among the first people to condemn the attack on people on election day, which led to the inability of some Labour Party faithful to vote. Voter suppression that we saw in some of the elections that we witnessed. Shoyinka was among the first to condemn it. Now they want us to believe that, oh, Shoyinka is a Tinubu man, is this, is that. Where did Shoyinka even hinted, where did he hint that, look, Tinubu should be your candidate? No, there was no time that he campaigned for Tinubu. And I can say that his sympathy was for. Peter will be all along. Well, yes, sir, because he was all saying, along. He was, he was asking for a younger Nati person. Was saying Nati 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 younger person that, oh, was asking for yes, younger person. That he has told them his to their faces. His was for OB. Now, for people who call themselves OB supporters to now be abusing a man who showed sympathy for their uh, their party is the height of irresponsibility. Call the names. You cannot. Me. You call. You abuse people. You can disagree with people, but you cannot be abusing people the way you are doing, just because you have access to the internet. The internet, Chief the people Peter. who created the internet, they did not imagine that we'll be using it in a lousy manner like this. You can't be disrespecting people just because they corrected. So you can't say that they do not like corrective criticism. They do not like it. And that is the truth. Before you can't say that we too, we have talked about it. Let's engage in healthy arguments. Before you should if anything, you, you start abusing people. They, they started uploading um, China Manda's um, CV and uh, <laughs> versus Professor Wally I was like, man, that's... <laughs> they are the only that's... class of people who can do that, who can even compare oh, both man. people. Because Shima like, Manda will kidding. not, will never see herself in the same class as Wally Never. She will never... So to now, so, so what is what is all this? So what Obi has done, we have to commend him. Yeah. And it's reference to the fact that Shoyinka stood up for the Igbos during the Civil War. Yeah. It's something because a lot of the people we went to jail. They don't know. posting all this rubbish no, they about don't Shoyinka, they, they, didn't read that they are Igbos they didn't read that who history. do not know even their uh, Nigerian history. Mm. And Obi used this occasion to remind Shoyinka of the huge price that he paid for the Igbos. I mean, there should be levels to, 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 to anything, even madness, there should be levels to it. You can't be abusing just everybody. People, young people in Nigeria have every reason to be angry because the system is I killed them. against them. Mm. It's made them feel inferior in their country. Mm. The system has made it look like they do not have a future in their country. 
But that does not mean that even those who have sided with you, those who want to see you prosper, you then begin to abuse them, insult them, for just because they said the truth. It's because of, of that you that they turned against. Uh, mm. Who is dirty in Nigeria that he cannot be corrected? That dirty, dirty lost. I mean, lost, he uh, came to usurp the unit. Who usurped the position of uh, Makafi yes. in the Senate? Yes, he spent one year, a year, and in they the, sent him uh, He was sent packing. Because he didn't win the election. Nobody campaigned that he should not be sworn into the Senate at that time. He was sworn, he enjoyed it for one year. He was sworn into you know, the even, Nigerian even Senate. For some time, he didn't return the money. Him, they still call him Senator. Some still call him Senator. Somebody got into Senate. He collected by, the by, salary by, for by one year. Means. Yes. I, you are still calling him Senator. How it is, is this Senator McCarthy that went to court, proved this case in court. Nobody was saying they should not swear in that. that no, time. that is what the law says. I said it on, uh, here yesterday that uh, Ahamba, Paul Ahamba, Mike Ahamba. In, um, I mean Mike Ahamba, Ahamba in uh, 2020, uh, 2003, he brought the matter to the Supreme Court in the Buhari uh, uh, and, and they told him that all winners of elective positions will not be sacked because they have a court case mm. until the matter is decided before they are sacked. That's the, that's the, that's the way it is. He too is a, bene was a beneficiary of, a of that law. Mm. He rigged himself into office. Yes. And the, uh, the courts eventually sent him packing. Mm -hmm. But he had stayed there for about a year. He joined the perks. Mm -hmm. Maybe. So he, he, he that's, what you, that's what people are saying that, oh, inauguration should not hold. This, oh, so what should happen? No, I, I, I think people are desperate because they are looking at the person, not the institution. And that to me is unfortunate. No, it's the that's hatred it. for the person. That, that's it. They are not even looking at the implications the of the law. The of what we are talking about. Since 1999, you've not asked questions that well, how have they been doing it? They don't care. They just don't like the person. They just want the person to be there. And sometimes even beyond the person. It's from the ethnicity of the person. Mm. It is that bad. Mm. They don't like the person. They don't like the ethnicity of the person. And some of them have told me to my face that they prefer that somebody from another part of the country should continue. Rather for that to come to the ethnic parts of Nigeria that the winner came from. Those are the realities of our reality. Are so divided. We can't run away from that. So a lot of That's people... That's why Obi, Obi has to be commended. Yes. I commend Even if Obi, we don't I, commend I wish, some of the people I, I, I wish, I wish mm. he had done we this. We have to commend him. Mm. I, wish, I wish he had done this earlier. No, when it was was any time he had... Any time he Whatever it is, it makes sense. Mm. Even now. It makes sense. I wish Even I had done now. it when it was hard. People, so sometimes, it's you see the way Wally Shoika was... I know. I was there. I was in Nigeria. Being and then you wonder what happened to our heroes. And then the table will turn tomorrow, and the same people will now be telling you, respect our they heroes. They disrespect their leaders. So this that's, that's the irony of the matter. You throw the first stone. Well, he, he did the right thing. Yeah. And, and, and uh, he referred to uh, Shoika as a father. He, is? he said... The huge price he paid just before the outbreak of the civil war, fighting for the cause of the Igbo, will not be forgotten. And that's, uh, no, the also, of us mentioned it here. Yeah, no, he did not deserve what uh, he was dragged through the gutter yes. for things that are totally to to uh, Go on Twitter and see the way they lash this old man. I so, say, oh, yeah. where the system will take care of itself. But I think Obi did well. Like I said earlier, I wish he had done it earlier, but better later than never. Yes. Mm. Because leadership is about taking responsibility. Obi will have realized that, look, this election will go. And if he still wants to remain in politics, he has to um, um, be conscious of this kind of things and behave the right way. Because people will remember. People will remember. Yeah. This is, he, may, he has lost the election this time. But that is not the end of the world. He can still be president of our country. With the obedience. Mm -mm. Okay. Obedience, what is who, who are obedience? People voted for him who are not obedient. What is the meaning of obedience? I don't know. That's why they keep abusing. You see, it, it, to, uh, how many times did uh, um, Abraham Lincoln contest before he eventually won? Buhari to contest it. You know, Buhari is okay. similar to Obi in terms of even the manner their campaigns went and the number of states that they won. So okay. he can still, he can still, the age is on his side. Great things can still happen to him politically. So he has to weigh all his actions. 
Mm. He must not make himself giddy by some of the um, praises from people who are worshipping him. No. He has to recognize when they are wrong. He has not frontally come out to condemn them, though showing Kassel said he should rein them in. I don't think uh, anyone can rein in people who have made up their minds to be as bad as they are. But the point is, by coming out, he has shown that he did not support the, the, the way they were abusing the old man. By coming out, visiting him, he requested for the visit. The visit was granted. And he told the man, look, you've always fought for justice. History will judge you the right way. And we appreciate how you fought for the evils and the injustice meted to them before the civil war. That, to me, Obi has made my day. Perfect judgment. Hearing this, he has made my day. Mm -hmm. I'm happy with him for this, mm -hmm. uh, that he has done this to the shame of those who thought that what they did was right. Mm -hmm. He has corrected what happened as far as I'm concerned. Gani, Kai de Balogo. Thank you, GKB. Thank you for your contribution. And Bikio, thank you for your contribution.